Welcome to the Road Hill Podcast. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit special and paying tribute to uh, a very dear friend of ours, Mr. Steve Ditus. To a jam. He's been yeah. to two jams. Been two. to two jams. Been to two yeah. jams. Yeah. So. Wasn't he in the very first one or was it the second one? He was in like I think the second one and then he That did, was a lovely and then he yeah, did another we one. were even started mm-hmm. recording, so mm. yeah. I wasn't yeah. here in time for the very first jam, but that second one we were there, um he was just so full of wisdom and experience and was so fun to hang out and chat with over dinner and he could and talk play music to with. anybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> At all the time. He had so many people and so many lives that he touched. Um, we had been, I'll tell you how we met. This is pretty cute. <laughs> I think now to look back on it. Um, I had put a call out for, we were friends on Facebook, but I had never met him. And then I went to Jane and Halsey's and they had a party. They're going to be here later. Okay, good. And then I had my ice cooler full of water and I had a watermelon and he got the gate for me. And we kind of went eye to eye as we went, as he opened the gate for me. And he goes, well, you're a tall drink of water. I said, yeah, I got legs all the way up to the A-frame. <laughs> I, just, I kept walking. I didn't, he was with a date. I didn't pay attention to him. So then hurricane was coming. I had a generator in the shed. It had been sitting for four years with gas in it. Um, I didn't know how to do anything with it, much less be able to pull it out. So uh, he answered my call for help. And he came over and he got the generator going and everything. And then, um, is, is there anything else I can do for you? I looked at him and I said, where do you want me to start? <laughs> 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 My utility room, toilet, the seal was broken. She had the sink didn't work in there, you know. And so he repaired that for me and I thought, oh, You had good. to move in to complete all this stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> I said, I got me a real handyman here. He, <laughs> Little did I know. He, he got a honey-do list before the honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had some fun times. We, When he had his mobile home when we first met, it was 30 minutes there from my house to his and that. And uh, we would sit on his back porch. And we had a lot of good times out there. And we would watch movies out there. And so most times I would start pecking corn during the movie. <laughs> trying to watch it. And one time I did that, and he was right in my face, when, you know, because I turned to look to see if he was watching me, and he was right there, and it scared the bejeepers out of me. <laughs> uh, we had some fun, fun times, but I, that day on the chain of lake in the um, in this little chicken of the sea is what he called it, that little picnic table. Bar. Oh yeah. We had more people smiling. That made my heart, you know, it was like, hey, and then somebody's like, only in Polk County. You know? <laughs> We had so much fun. He was so proud of that little thing. I think we have that picture, actually. Mm-hmm. We can, we'll have yeah. to post that in here. Yeah. Everybody can see it. Yeah. Absolutely. He was a wonderful guy. So, Mark, how did uh, how'd you and Steve meet? How did you guys all, all come together? I've known of him for years. I mean, you know, he, he rode motorcycles. We used to ride way back. I'm talking 20, Honestly, I think the first time we ago, saw him was so. a blue guitar. Chris yeah. Bell's blue guitar in downtown Winter Haven. Oh, well, that was Yeah, he was playing in there. I've got a story for that, too. That can't come on She won't let me talk. She won't let me talk. <laughs> this is the but internet. That, that, was, that, was a, that was a very fun night we had. Um, the music was great, of course, but I think that's the first time I really, that we seen, seen saw him as a musician. Mm-hmm. Um, never really got to know him. I mean, we saw him on motorcycle rides on, you know, uh, mm-hmm. poker runs, stuff like that back in the day, and I'm talking early 2000s. After we started the dinner jams, um, I'd been seeing him up at, at Jesse's for open mic night, and... Uh, got to talking to him a little bit and you know like 
um, JP says, when you talk to Steve, it's like, <laughs> once you talk to him, you're an instant friend. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, until you screw him, and that's a different story. But oh he is, you know, he, he's... <laughs> <laughs> he, he he really was, and so we invited him to the dinner jam. And uh, when you sit down to have dinner with somebody, it's just it, it changes you from a level of acquaintance to friendship. And we shared stories that night, tons of them. Um, really got to know each other a bit, a lot better. Had dinner a couple times afterwards together. Um, yes, yeah, Steve and JP had us at their house for dinner. Yes. To, because we had them to ours, which we've had that happen with one other couple too. It's really cool to have that experience be turned around. Well, you know, his favorite thing was to break bread with friends. Yes. Yeah. He said that he, at the dinner jam. Yeah. yeah well, course. that was that. Yeah. That was his favorite thing. Have people over. He he tried to perfect. Well, he did perfect pizzas, you mm -hmm. know, on the grill. Mm -hmm. He got three different recipes. He would look and study stuff, you know, and then do it Steve's way as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was really good. You know. And then we a had cook, thank God. pork chops at your house, and they were like really thick. But he had it like down to an art, like exactly how long on each side, what goes with it. I mean, he had it down perfect. And I would have been afraid to cook these big thick pork chops. <laughs> they came out really. And they good were great. Too. He loved to cook. Yeah, he was a good cook. I was spoiled. Oh my gosh, I was spoiled. <laughs> So <laughs> I can relate. He fixes things and he cooks. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she moved him in. Cooking hey. for one, yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> you know. That's why Connie still keeps me around. <laughs> I can cook and fix things. There you go. Earn your keep. <laughs> uh, yeah, he and me missed my many. So tell me a Steve story that I haven't heard. Oh my gosh. First time I went with him up to Watertown, he drove me on this back road, the Tule Road, I think it was called, and it was a beautiful winding dirt road, lakes and trees and everything, and he stopped in this one spot, and it was to the right, we parked on the side, and we walked through the woods, and it, you couldn't hear anything but the bugs flying around and mm -hmm. stuff like that, it was just gorgeous. I was walking into Eden, it seemed like. And we followed this trail and followed this trail. And when we got to the end of the trail, waterfall. I have a photo, I have a video of it. But he was standing next to the tree like this. And the waterfall all the way down, just, oh my gosh, that was the most majestic, one of the most majestic days we had. It was fun. That sounds beautiful. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, he enjoyed showing me Watertown. He loved that town. He loves mm. the people in it. Such a and, romantic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got friends now of eight years that I met. They're friends in Watertown. <laughs> I've known the girls and everybody, you know. Gosh, eight years. What a gift to have him for that long. Yeah. He touched so many people. Yeah. And he's with me all the time. Do you, of do you still have that ski? What ski? The ski that was in the corner that he set his drinks on. Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> I want that. Okay. <laughs> someone, put, it, put it right here. Someone made no. it for him, and the bottom of it is like for it's a wrought iron circular thing that Steve put a pole, orange if orange was his favorite color, <laughs> put a pole in the middle I of it, and it has a ski on top. <laughs> okay. And that's what he used to set his drink and stuff on, you know, when he well, was playing. Also, <laughs> I, I was looking at it, and I. I <laughs> I don't remember seeing it ever or anything else, but you know, it's pretty neat. It's got, it's uh, from from uh, Cypress Gardens. It's got the old ski emblems and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Actually, if it wasn't all cut up, it would have been a, maybe a collector ski, but who knows. Anyway, um, he had a little symbol post attached to it. And <laughs> when I got his drums and his gear and stuff, I'm going through everything, and he's he's had this little teeny um, Zildjian Z Zelbel, is what's called Zelbel, or Zilbel, however you mm -hmm. say it. And uh, I'm like, you hit it, and it, it rings for like two days. Yeah, he did. So I'm like, <laughs> what? what did he have this for? And now I know, I guarantee he had it on that post Probably. so when he was in between songs and getting a beer and wanted to get people's attention you just went ting 
and that thing just rings for him. So I think I'll gone. put those together and see if we can't get that in one of the oh, that'd be fun. auctions or something. Sure, that'd be because fun. Yeah. I think that'll be really cool yeah. for somebody. That, that would be cool to have. Including me, I would. I would yeah, bid on he, that. he was captain of the Shitty Whistlers Club but for did, Damon Fowler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I still have his and my mm-hmm. kazoo and picture yeah. with Damon with yeah. the kazoos. Yeah, he was oh, the captain of the Shitty Whistlers. We've got to get Damon on one of our yeah. one of our podcasts yeah. or dinner because he jams. always talks about the Shitty Whistlers. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he was every, captain. Every, every well, show. There's a bunch of us. The first person we saw at the Blue Guitar was Damon Fowler. Oh, okay. Or that I saw. Connie wasn't there for that show, no. but me and a couple of buddies were there, and it was just That's how we ended awesome up going show. back over and over. And that's why we <laughs> went back, and then we saw Steve playing there, and it's, it's like we had some good music back then at the Blue no. Guitar. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. At least I enjoyed it. Yeah. we I seen, had seen Damon several times, and he was playing at uh, Jensen's, Right, and he went to right. do a potty break, and Steve sat in. And when Damon came back, he says, "Okay, I, I forget exactly what he said, but you know, that's Damon's pee break or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm through or whatever." Yeah, yeah. Da- Damon's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he is. He, oh, he uh, and Steve, they would talk more than he, he, he would play. play he plays. He plays with a well, shady judge too. He likes so. to tell a lot of stories too, like Steve. Did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, I think that's why they get along because oh, yeah, both of them are the is. same way. Yeah. They'll play a song and then, then they we tell, tell a story. story. <laughs> yeah. That's what I loved about. And if you're not jam. listening, I'm going to hit the cell bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the tightest touch. Because he would play a song and then he had like a story to go with why he liked that song. And what amazed me with Steve was that any song you brought up, he knew all the chords, he knew all the words, and he never had to open a phone up or anything else, knew them all. How he remembered so much. And he never learned how to read music. But he played it perfect yeah. every time. And he, he was just, so good. That's a gift right there. That was oh, yeah. crazy. He was so talented. He played the mandolin. He plays harmonica. He played the few chords on the piano. That was one thing he really wanted to learn. So we have a keyboard too, you know, that was given to us. Um, I've, got, I've got a bass, a guitar, and, and some he other played stuff drums. that I don't play because he played drums. <laughs> he played drums. He played bass. He played guitar. He sang the kazoo. When he went to Jesse, we went to Jesse's. He always wanted to play a new song because you know we were going there for every Wednesday night for a while. And it was the same song, same song, same song. <laughs> so he decided that he was not going to go play the same song and beat people over the head with the same song. So he would sit on the couch like 20 minutes before we would be ready to go, mm-hmm. learn a song, and then get up and play. In 20 minutes? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, um, speaking of Steve playing music, I think we have a video of him playing that we'll kind of close all of this out on. Um, it's a bit of a send-off. <laughs> that's that's nice of you. That's nice. Well, we will. We, we were one week old, by the way, with this picture. So he was still <laughs> fixing the generator. He was about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Got to get that thing ready. <laughs> oh, that's that, funny. Was, that was a good. That's one. perfect. Still fixing the generator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Again, this this has been just a fun tribute, uh, you know, just a, a very very shaving of the iceberg of, of the life that that is was and always will be Steve Ditus and what mm-hmm. he meant to the people mm-hmm. of this community and even beyond and and what he meant to Roadkill and the podcast and the dinner jams and how much we all enjoy meeting him and um, this is our send off to Steve so we'll leave on this video of Steve playing one of his favorites. Thank you. Have you ever heard a robin weep when leaves begin to die? Like me, he's lost the will to live, and so lonesome I could cry. Will the silence of a falling star that lights up a purple sky? And as I wander 
just where you are. I'm so lonesome on my own, could you cry? Oh, I'm so lonesome. Sometimes it's pretty tough. So uh, nothing but time and love of friends and colleagues in remembrance of all those special moments in time that made that person so enduring and great. You know, keeping them in your heart, they will live on forever. I believe if we keep this in mind before it's our time, we will have a special place in our hearts as we walk each other home. Thank you very much.